Hi, How, how's everybody doing? Are we all surviving isolation? I don't know. <laughs> Let me tell you how I'm surviving isolation. I'm going to do a um, demonstration, I don't know if that's what you'd call it, of the um, wonderful benefits of knowing about Zenny Optical. Okay, first of all, wait, let me just check something. Oh, yeah, that is on my screen. Okay, looks like I had a bullseye in the middle of my forehead. Then I realized, I don't know if you can see that or if it's just me that can see that. I'll just clean the camera. Uh, there. Okay, so obviously it was just on my screen. Okay, how many of you have heard of Zenny Optical? Z E N N I. I am not a paid spokesperson, so I'm not getting any residuals for this, but I have told so many people about them that I thought I'm going to show you what they have. And these are almost all of my glasses are at least a year old, and I know that they will um, discontinue. So there might be I'm, in fact, I'm pretty positive there's a lot of glasses that are no longer available, but that's one of the things I like about them. So Z-E-N-N-I -E optical.com, or maybe it's just Zenny, yeah, Zenny optical.com. Anyway, so when I first started, you know, kind of having to do this, you know, realizing that I'm probably going to have to get glasses, I probably went like a week of trying to use readers and I thought, I, I can't do this on and off stuff. I can't be walking through the store, putting my glasses on, checking to see what the price tag is, taking them off. That was just crazy. So I immediately went and got progressive glasses. And the first pair of glasses I got was probably $400, $500. I know I have a couple of pair of like Oliver Peoples that are close to $700. And then my wonderful daughter-in-law told me about Zenny Optical and that was the end of the craziness. So I now, I don't know, I'll probably go through and count as I'm doing this video to see how many pairs of glasses I have. But um, if you just have a regular prescription, like I'm just nearsighted, I need a plus one or a minus one, whatever it is for you nearsighted people, I'm farsighted, so I don't know. Um, you can get glasses for probably under $50. But because I have progressive, they are a little bit more expensive. But in the world of glasses, what's ex like $100 is not expensive. That's like nothing. So I'm going to show you some of the glasses that I have. And um, I mean, like I said, a lot of these glasses are discontinued now. Um, and that's what I like about them is that you can go ahead and get a really fun frame, but then they'll discontinue them. And so you don't have to worry about having the same glasses as everybody else. And some of the other online glasses, like I know Warby Parker used to be a real fun thing. Well, now they have brick and mortar stores and I feel like the price has gone up. And so, um, I don't know. It's, I don't think it's as, as competitive as it used to be. So this is one of the fun pairs that I got and I don't wear these all the time, but they're fun. And, but can you, you know, this, these were probably, and these are progressive. These were probably maybe $120 and you can get all kinds of blue blocker and different coatings on them and stuff like that. You can get regular glasses. You can get sunglasses. This is a really fun pair of sunglasses that I got. And these are prescription. These are prescription sunglasses. So these are really fun like these. Okay. I don't even remember how much these are. Honestly, you'll have to get on. What you do is you enter your prescription and then you enter your, they'll give you the tools to do your own uh, pupillary distance. So you put in your pupillary distance. I've only had one pair out of all of these different glasses that came back that were a little, so this is another, another. So you can get regular glasses, you can get sunglasses. My children have gotten glasses for their children. So you can get children's glasses, men's glasses, women's glasses. Um, this is another, I'll find the regular ones. This is a pair of sunglasses because I got the, um, let me find the regular glasses. I got the regular glasses and I liked them so much I went ahead and ordered another pair in the sunglasses. So here's the regular glasses. I get a lot of comments on these, um, but these are really fun. And See, that's the great thing. It's like, you know, once the glasses have been around for a while, they they kind of discontinue them. And, and so you feel like you have a, a unique thing. But I love these. These are one of my favorites. Aren't those fun with the leopard? I get a lot of comments on those. I really like those. So then I like, yeah, so I liked those. And then I got these. These are a new pair that I just got. Um, many of you, all of, all of the uh, Silver Sisters, 
We all are in love with Iris Apfel, and so we kind of love her look. So I went ahead and got a pair of glasses that reminded me of Iris, and these are fun. These are all from Zenny. Oh, you don't need that on there. Okay, that's weird. Aren't those fun? I love these. These are great. And again, these were probably, I don't know, around $100. I'm just going to say around $100 because depending on if you get some kind of a coating or something like that, the price is going to change. Like I said, if you just have a regular prescription, it's going to be a lot cheaper. The progressives are a little bit more expensive. Um, but I liked those so much that I went ahead and got a pair in the sunglasses too. So those are fun. All prescription. All of these are prescription. These are fun. I like these. Got a little bit of leopard going on. I love the shape. Obviously, it's the cat eye, but it's not too extreme. And so that's, that's really fun. Um, these are always an option. I think they always carry the big plastic frames. And I have this particular frame in how many different styles here? Let me see. I have them in the pink. I have them in I have them in pink. I have them in turquoise, which is really fun. I have them in the orange. I have them in an orange. And I have them in Clear, which I wear a lot because these are just really great basics, right? I have something, it's not really um, the same exact style or size, um, but I got these. I don't wear these a lot. Some of them I don't wear a lot, but it just depends on, you know, what color clothes I have on. Uh, so I got something similar. They're a little bit smaller, but they have kind of the plum at the bottom. So those are fun. Um, as far as I do, I, I like the plastic ones. These are clear with um, the templates are orange, which is fun. That gives a little bit of color. But so I like those. These are the most comfortable because they don't have the nose clips, and I like that. Um, so I have a lot of those. Um, let's see. These are another cat eye. I do like the cat eye. You know, those are fun. Those are kind of a deep, kind of a burgundy. So those are fun. Um, let's see. And then I have, as far as the, oh, yeah, these are great too. These I love. I don't, I don't wear these a lot because I don't know why, but these are not my favorite. But these definitely remind me of the 50s. These are kind of like a definite 50s throwback. So those are, you know, those are fun. They're okay. Um, these are fairly recent. I just got these a little bit ago, a little bit different. Um, the color, after I got them, I was like, you know what? Now that I've let my hair go gray, I don't know if I like this color. So I honestly don't wear these very often. It's amazing how when you change your hair color, everything changes, right? Your lipstick color changes, your wardrobe changes. These are fun. When I first got these, I got a lot of comments from people that were like, oh, are we playing basketball? You know, you have your goggles on. But aren't those great? I mean, they're good size glasses, but they're fun. I really like those. And these, again, these are from Zenny. So you can see, you know, what kind of a variety you're, you're going to get. Um, as far as the plastic, oh good, okay. So here's another plastic frame that I have. Boy, some of these are so dirty. They've got fingerprints all over them. So excuse the fingerprints, but, so these are fun. I wear those, I don't know, if I'm doing a yellow thing. But it's kind of that same plastic frame, but a little bit different shape. Um, and then I have these I like because they are the faux wood, but I don't know. I don't wear them that often, but they're also fun. Isn't that amazing, you guys? So then when it comes to the metal frames, um, I don't wear it. Like I said, I don't wear the metal frames quite as often because the nose pieces are more uncomfortable. These, these is, this is a style that I wear quite a bit. Those are fun. And then, um, I also have the blue. I mean, that's the fun thing about wearing glasses, actually, right? I mean, glasses have become such a big accessory that it used to be people were really sad if they had to wear glasses. Now it's like, yay, I get to wear glasses. So these are fun. I like these, kind of the tortoise shell, and then the templates are orange. So that's fun. And then the last pair that I have... I should count these, right? Last pair that I have is silver, and these are fun. So yeah, 
there you go. So that's just, okay, so that's um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and I have a pair of sunglasses in my purse, so I probably have 25 pairs of glasses. Now, if you had to pay $800 for every pair of glasses, would you have 25 pairs of glasses? I don't think so. And obviously, I've purchased these over, gosh, I started wearing glasses 15 years ago, you know? It was like I was in design school, and, um, you know, we were doing blueprints and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. And all of a sudden I realized that I was having to kind of set back a little bit. I was about 45 at the time. And it was like, oh, crud, I can't believe it. I thought if I took my vitamins and ate really well, I wouldn't have to wear glasses. That's how silly I was. But anyway, so that's my video. I just wanted to share that with you today. Um, remember to check out Sunny Optical. I, I, I just think it's great. Like I said, 25 pairs of glasses. I had one pair that I loved. They were kind of an olive green. That was the only pair out of 25 that when they came, the prescription was just a little bit off. You know, you'd kind of have to do this look up and down thing. And, and, uh, and it wasn't worth sending them back because, um, I don't know. I just didn't think it was worth it. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing uh, during my isolation period is showing you all my Zenny glasses. So, Hope you're having a more productive day. Um, I consider that productive, I guess. Anyway, all right, talk to you later. Bye.